today we will see some interesting examples related to bar graph and double bar graph. The bar graph shown depicts the number of patients visiting a hospital. Read the bar graph and answer the following questions. On which day the number of patients coming to the hospital was minimum? The number of patients coming to the hospital on different days are indicated as the length of the bar in the graph. In this way, the bar which has the shortest length will give us the answer to this question. We see that length of bars showing the number of patients on Sunday and Tuesday is same and is smaller than length of the all bars. So we can say that the least number of patients come to the hospital on Sunday and Tuesday. What is the total number of patients coming to the hospital on Monday, Wednesday and Thursday? Based on the length of the bars, we can say that in the hospital, 22 patients visited on Monday, 13 patients on Wednesday and 15 patients on Thursday. In this way, the total number of patients coming to hospital on Monday, Wednesday and Thursday is 22 plus 13 plus 15 is equal to 50. Now find yourself the difference in number of patients who came to the hospital on Saturday and Friday. Next example. The following table shows electricity bills of Rohit and Mohit for different months. Represent the information in the double bar graph. Observe the statistics. Can you tell me what would be the convenient scale here? Think, think. Let me tell you, the smallest number here is 950 and largest number here is 1600. So here, we do not have to start from 0, but we can take numbers from 900 to 1700. We will draw a zigzag line to show that we are not showing numbers from 0. To 900. It will be easy to use the scale as there is no number from 0 to 900. We can take 1 unit is equal to 100 rupees as scale. Similarly, we can also take this scale as 1 unit is equal to 200 rupees. Let us take 1 unit is equal to 100 rupees scale and show the electricity bill on the y axis in rupees. Similarly, Months will be indicated on the x-axis. We will draw this type of bars for Rohit and this type of bars for Mohit. Now, we will show the bills of Rohit and Mohit in the month of June by drawing the double bar. Similarly, we will draw a double bar graph for all months. Read the given bar graph and find out Find out the information in the double bar graph. To find out what information is shown in this bar graph, one has to look at what is represented on x-axis and y-axis, along with understanding what each bar represents in a pair of bars. The double bar graph shown is the horizontal double bar graph. Here, names of subjects are shown on the y-axis and the marks are shown on the x-axis. The red color in the pair of bars indicates Rahul's marks and green bars indicates Vishal's marks. Therefore, we can say that this double bar graph compares the marks obtained by Rahul and Vishal in various subjects in an examination. Which subject do you think Rahul needs to pay more attention to? Rahul's marks are denoted by red bars, the shortest length of all red bars, is drawn for English subject. This means that out of all the marks of Rahul's subject, he got lowest marks in English. Hence, Rahul have to focus more on English subject. So today we have seen some interesting examples related to bar graphs and double bar graphs. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to them. 